all iOS apps have a built-in data dictionary that stores small amounts of user settings for as long as the app is installed. This system, called user defaults, can save integers, booleans, strings, arrays, dictionaries, dates, and more. But you should be careful not to save too much data because it will slow down the launch of your app. Here's an example of setting some values. Let defaults equals user defaults dot standard. Defaults dot set, 25, four key, age. Defaults dot set, true, four key, use touch ID. Defaults dot set, CG float, dot pi, four key, pi. Defaults dot set, Paul Hudson, four key, name. Defaults dot set, a new date, four key, last run. When you set values like that, they become permanent. You can quit the app, then relaunch, and they'll still be there. So it's the ideal way to store app configuration data. As an advanced warning, you might find some old tutorials recommend calling the synchronize method to force your data to save. But Apple has asked us not to do that for some years now. As mentioned, you can use user defaults to store arrays and dictionaries, like this. Let array equals an array of hello and world. Defaults.set array for key saved array. Let dict equals a dictionary with name for the key and Paul for the value, and country for the key and UK for the value. Defaults.set dict, four key, saved dict. When it comes to reading data back, it's still easy, but has an important proviso. User defaults will return a default value if the setting can't be found. You need to know what these default values are, so you don't confuse them with real values that you set. Integer for key returns an integer if the key existed, or zero if not. Bool for key returns a boolean if the key existed, or false if not. Float for key returns a float if the key existed, or 0.0, .0 if not. Double for key returns a double if the key existed, or 0.0, .0 if not. An object for key returns an optional any object, so you need to conditionally typecast it to your data type. With that in mind, you can read values back like this. Let age equals defaults dot integer for key age. Let use touch ID equals defaults dot bool for key use touch ID. Let pi equals defaults dot double for key pi. When retrieving objects, the result is optional. This means you can either accept the optionality or typecast it to a non-optional type and use the nil coalescing operator to handle missing values. For example, let saved array equals defaults dot object for key saved array as question mark a string array nil coalescing a new string array. 